It's the Ollie and Annie Show. Starring poor old Ollie as Ollie and Annie as Annie. Hi, and welcome to the show. My name is Eddie Berry, and we're coming to you from Cowpie, Kentucky, the city with the zero tolerance crime policy and the most cows per capita of any city in the United States. Cowpie, come on down, but watch your step. Now, I'm at the studios, but down on the field at the Great American Ballpark is Annie, who is standing by with Ollie, who won the game tonight with a big base hit in extra innings. So let's send it on down to Annie now. Annie? Thanks, Eddie. Ollie, you got the big two-out hit tonight to drive in the winning run in extra innings. Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel great, Annie. I love happy endings. Ollie, your hit tonight was the first one in years. In fact, according to my records, your last hit was during the Reagan administration. Well, wait a minute. This is my Neil Diamond interview. Ah, here we go. Your hit tonight, Ollie, broke a string of 45 games where you didn't drive in a run, and during that stretch, you were 3 for 165 overall and 0 for 27 with runners in scoring position. So, my question to you is, can you possibly suck any more than you do? Stop. Stop the tape. Annie, try to keep your feelings out of the interview, please. I'm sorry, Eddie, but 0 for 27? Come on. So, Ollie, what kind of pitch did you hit? Oh, I don't know. It was just a regular pitch. Well, was it a fastball, a curve, a slider? Mm, no, I don't think so. Certainly you can tell a fastball from a curve. Hmm? Uh, I, I don't remember. Ollie, your eyes were shut, weren't they? Well... I knew it. I knew it, Eddie. He had his fucking eyes closed. No wonder he hit it. <laughs> Annie. Yeah, I know. I know. No F words on the air. Well, fuck that and fuck you, Eddie. I'm out of here. One, two, three, four. As a player, I get around playing ball on every baseball ground and there are girls in all these places showing off their very pretty faces and these girls from all these cities love to show their great big you know but these girls who want to kiss you always seem to have some kind of issue like Kimmy from Poughkeepsie. She was always just a little tipsy. And Jody from up near Cody, she was always high on peyote. And Lana, who's from Atlanta, to be with her I had to take my Lanta. And now here's Annie from New York City she just wants to treat me very shitty. Can I say that? Now Sarah from Sausalito, she was having trouble with libido. And Karen lived at the clinic. Cause she's a paranoid schizophrenic. And Sandy from Seattle she would wear you out with endless prattle. Now Annie, who says she hates me, but she says she still wants to date me. I think it's because I'm a ball player. Baseball Annie, she's kind of batty. I met her when she came to Cincinnati. She's kind of bitter, left at the altar. So her attitude I cannot falter She's tough as nails Won't take no lip 
from her eyes a tear will never drip. Oh, I love Annie. You get my gist. Dr. Phil says, I am a masochist. He says, you're a masochist, okay? <laughs> that sounds like Mr. Mackey. There's your...